In this video, I'm going to go over some organization tips and tricks to get ahead on the school year. Organization is always important in anything that you do, but with distance learning and everything being virtual, it's even more important. So that way you don't waste time clicking around trying to find things. Instead, what you should do is have everything organized ahead of time. So please keep watching for how I suggest that you organize your Google Drive. Proactively organizing your Google Drive is going to be really beneficial because it'll make it way easier for you to locate things when you need them and in the end save your future self lots of stress and time. In case you wanted to be able to access these Google Slides, you can go ahead and access them below this video. I have them linked. So what I'm going to do is go through this Google Slides and then after that I will actually go into a Google Drive and show you a visual of how to do all of this. So the four major steps I'm going to go over are setting up a folder for the whole school year, then within that folder, setting up a folder for each term and semester, depending on the schedule that your school has, then within each of those folders, setting up folders for each of your class. Last but not least, I will go over some resources I suggest that you add to further the organization of your Google Drive. So you wanna set up a, a folder for the full school year. In case you're not too familiar with Google, how you're gonna do this is in the top left corner of your Google Drive, you're gonna click new and then click folder. Then automatically a box will pop up asking you to name the folder. So I would suggest naming it something to the effect of 2020 to 2021 school year. I also like to include numbers um, in mine, so that way the folders are arranged in the order that I want them and not alphabetical order, which is what Google Drive will do. But I also want the numbers to be a little bit more aesthetic. So I've gone ahead and um, linked the website here that I use to go ahead and do that. And I've also linked another one where you could add symbols if you wanted as well. So again, if you would like to access this Google Slides, it's linked below the video. After you've named the folder, I would also suggest taking advantage of the color option that Google has. So you're going to right click the folder, select change color, and then you can select from any of these colors. And then that way things pop out and it's a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. So now that you have the folder set up for the full school year, you're gonna click into that folder and then you're going to set up new folders for each term, really making sure it's organized. So again, you're just gonna go through that process, clicking new and then folder while being within the original folder you set up. Then you wanna go ahead and name it. So maybe you have like folder one for terms one and three, which is the blocked system that my school is on this year. And then folder two for terms two and four. Um, so just depending on what system that you have. And again, I've included the links to the different numbers and the symbols. And then I would also go ahead and still want to change the color of each folder by right clicking each of the folders and then selecting the colors. So now you have folders set up for each term within the overall folder, folder for the school year. And now within each of those termed folders, you wanna go ahead and set up a folder for each class. Now, if you don't know your schedule yet and like what classes will be each term, I would just label it like first period, second period, or however many periods you have, or you could go ahead and know like, I'm gonna have an English class so I can name it English. Um, it's super easy for you to rename the folders. It's the same process as naming the folder itself. And so you can go ahead and edit that once you have your schedule. So in each of the relevant folders, you're gonna create a new folder for each class. Um, so that way it is nice and organized. And then anytime you get something from your teacher for that class, you just simply have to file it away and then it's all organized for you. Uh, last but not least, these are some suggested resources that I would add to your folders to make sure that you're really upping that organization game. Um, these are also all linked in the Google Slides. So below the video, you can go ahead and open the Google Slides and then click any of these links. These are calendars for the upcoming school year. I have three different versions depending on your organizational and aesthetic preferences. I would also suggest you really reflect on developing a system that works for you. Um, and so you can go ahead and access this worksheet that will help take you through like what's your preferred learning style. And it might even vary between subjects. Um, I know some students like to do their math homework with their friends, but they like to do their English homework by themselves. And so figuring out that system is really important so that way you can be the most efficient while also um, not causing yourself a lot of stress. 
Last but not least, you are going to get a lot of emails in distance learning. And so I would track your emails that are essential. Otherwise your email inbox will get so full, you're not gonna be able to find things. So this is a doc where you can just go ahead and copy and paste by the different classes of the essential emails. And then what's really cool is it's all in one doc and you can use the find feature. Um, and are able to quickly search terms. And this also has a table of contents because you'll probably add a lot of emails and then you don't wanna scroll through everything. So this is organized by your different classes. So I would really suggest adding all of these to ensure your organization or take them and modify them as well. Now, so you kind of have a visual of what this looks like. This is a very blank Google Drive. I'm gonna go ahead and click new folder. I'm going to set up my 2020 to 2021 school year folder. I have that now all created. I'm gonna right click, change the color. I'm gonna make it my favorite color right now. Then I'm gonna go ahead and click into it. Now I wanna make one for each term. So also instead of clicking new, you can also just right click in this space. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is first name this one terms one and three because that's the schedule we're on. But I wanna go ahead and use those numbers. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here. Open up this website that will allow me different access to more aesthetic numbers. I'm gonna type in one and it will pop up over here. So you can see there are lots of different numbers I can go ahead and select. I like using ones that have like a border around them, that way it pops even more. Then I'm just gonna paste that in. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for terms two and four. Then I need to get my fancy number over here. Just gonna go ahead and copy and paste to the beginning. This way it stays in the order that I want it to. I can also go ahead and change the colors by right clicking change color. Ooh, I'm gonna go with that one. Then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go in each of those folders and set up folders for each class. So now let's say, I'll just go ahead and I know that I'm gonna have periods one, three, five, and seven um, in terms one and three at my school. So I'm gonna name each of those folders after the periods because at this point, I don't have my schedule yet, so I don't know what classes I'm gonna have. Folder. I could go through um, and change these to the more aesthetic numbers. I can change the colors as well, but now I have it nice and organized. Um, one last thing I wanna do is show you how to add those resources. Let's go ahead and start with a calendar. You're gonna go ahead and open it. And now since you'll only have viewing access to this calendar, what you have to do in order to add it to your drive is the following. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is click file, make a copy, entire presentation. And then this is where I can go ahead and rename it. Or if you don't choose to rename it, it will always show us up as copy of the title of the slides, Docker sheets in your Google Drive. And then this is the brilliance of the folders. You can then click here and make sure it goes to the correct folder. So let's say you want to set up a folder for the full school year. You'll just go ahead and add this to the 2020 to 2021 school year folder. Or maybe you want to make one for each semester. You can then make those as well. And then you have this and you're able to use it. I really recommend organizing your Google Drive before school gets started. I promise this will save you time later. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at toolbeltoflearning at gmail.com or at toolbeltoflearning on Instagram.